So you're finally ready to learn how this works? Getting started, we need to first learn how to load it and rig it up. First step is to make sure your safety's on. Bring it to your chest and using your dominant hand, grab the rubber on the side of the Dyneema line and you're gonna to pull to the anchor. If you have two rubbers like this, make sure you grab the top one first so they don't cross over. Remember, never load a gun on land. Loading the gun in water is actually easier anyway as the water will assist you, help balance on the chest and make it easier to pull. After you've taken your shot, you don't only have to load it, but you're gonna to have to rig it up. This is quite difficult, but after a few goes, you'll get used to it. After you've taken your shot, you wanna ret retrieve your shaft. Make sure your rubbers are up. You wanna put your shaft down the line. And make sure it clicks all the way in and it doesn't release. You wanna use your mono, follow the line guide. Bring it down, bring it all the way back up to the trigger release. After you've touched it, you're ready to load. For those of you who've got a more traditional open head, this is how you rig that up. So after you've taken your shot, you wanna retrieve your shaft. Again, always making sure the rubber is on top of the barrel. Come through the rubber, You want to click it in, give it a little pull so it doesn't release. You're going to pull on your mono and go through the line guides. These are nice deep ones so you don't even have to look when you rig it up. You're going to come around the trigger release and come back. This is a longer mono so you're going to have to do a double wrap. So you're going to come through here and then come back down to the trigger release. The double line is better for distance so you can take a further shot. The final bit of gear we need to learn how to use is the float and the float line. This is really simple. The float is there both as a safety marker buoy and as safety ensuring that you can clip your fish and spear gun onto something that won't sink. The shark clip on the float line attaches to the float like this and the speed spike on the other end attaches to your spear gun. Not only is your spear gun now attached to a float but once you've caught a fish the speed spike will go through the fish's mouth, keep it safe and allowing you to continue spearing or diving. Once you've caught two or three fish and you've attached them to your float line, it makes it really simple to keep everything together. While loading your fish onto the speed spike, you can also use the shark clip on your spear gun to attach it either to your belt or your weight vest to ensure that you don't lose your spear gun. Now you understand all the gear, it's time to get wet. <laughs> 